Coach, is a lighthearted question. This summer's <laughs> this summer seemed to be your your glow up. You know, you had a new buzz cut that you know was all over the internet. You were pictured, you know, just relaxing. You had a couple of players get married, and you just had a really great summer. It seemed like, despite looming of the NCAA, how was your summer? How are you doing? And how are you getting ready for this this season? Well, the buzz cut that was so cool that we showed everywhere, which I didn't know about. I've done for. The last six years uh, since uh, Aiden was born, I do it every summer, usually on July 4th. Scott cuts my hair, cuts a little boy's hair. The tough thing is last year they tried to get me to get a mohawk. <laughs> I got a mohawk. And, uh, it's hard to say no to your grandsons. Right. You know, I, I bribed them, gave them money, took them to get dessert, do anything. Still, they wanted a buzz cut, but I had to say no on that. I mean, uh, a mohawk. It was not a good summer. My golf game was the worst in history. <laughs> First time in my life I handicapped, they were gone into double figures. Uh, so I had to enjoy being out there, enjoy my friends, enjoy my buddies. Some of my buddies I didn't enjoy nearly as much as I used to when I used to beat their ass all the time. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so that part wasn't as good. I didn't strike that, beat their tail all the time. <laughs> uh, but no, it was a good summer and then uh, about 16 days ago, I guess now, our third grandson was born, and uh, on his 13th day he was alive. He came to late night, so we got him started the right way. But uh, family was really good this summer. We had some really good times. Time for. What's your legacy here at UNC? Oh, uh, I mean, as far as on the court, um, I just feel like. You know, just going out and just competing and, you know, um, it's a lot of guys who do things just for themselves, but for me, it's more of making sure I'm doing what I have to do to be able to help the team. And I want people to know that, you know, the individual stuff, you know, all that's good, but um, I want them to realize or I want them to remember that when I, whenever I went out on the court, I, did, I just didn't do it for myself and that I did it for my teammates. And then off the court, I mean, I just want to, make everybody a fan of mine and um, just be a role model for people who, you know, feel like they've been overlooked pretty much their whole uh, entire lives, which um, I've been overlooked. And um, But I still trusted myself and still believed in myself to, um, in my abilities and what I do. And that's what um, I want my legacy to be. When that news came out, um, more than anything, that meant the most to me. And um, that's why when we dropped the banner the other night, um, I tried to hold back, but you know, the tears just fell down my eyes, or fell down my face because all the stuff that we went through um, while we were here, I mean, you go to games, people tell us, you know, you need to go to class. My mom back home, um, had some uh, recruiter from another school come in and she, uh, he told her like, make sure your son is going to class, like all that stuff. And it's just all that we went through. And then, you know, with that coming out, you know, it's just, it's just a relief. And just to show that, um, you know, I always follow my gut feeling and my feeling told me to come here and that everything will be all right. And coach promised me that. And as you can see now, um, you know, that's why, I, that's how I came over the seven. Theo, what's your legacy here at UNC? Uh, a champ, first of all, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just a fun-loving guy. And then I don't, I don't, I try to make sure everybody feels loved and make sure everybody having a good time. Even if it's a coach, if they look like they're having a bad day, I'm gonna go over there and try to make them smile or something. And just, just try to make sure they know that uh, I'm always trying to have a good time. A little bit, you know, because when you get here over the summer, things are not quite in full gear. Um, it's a little bit different of a pace than the regular season. And just being so used to something else. And then, you know, at Carolina was a team, you know, that I played against every year. Then coming here just kind of took a second to fully embrace the we being Carolina basketball. And I think I'm getting to a point where, you know, I'm pretty much kind of past that stage and just looking forward to being all in.
know, I have not talked to Coach Stallings since this went down, but uh, honestly, I have a lot of respect for Coach Stallings. I have a lot of respect for the university. Um, I'm thankful that they let me go, and you know, I, I don't wish any ill will towards them by any means, but I'm, I'm really focused on being a member of the basketball.